blessings, Evangelist Rob Wood here of Rob Wood's Ministries in New York. Many have been pulling on me, as I did his video several days ago, about the downfall of great leaders in high positions in the church. T.D. Jakes, Robert Morris recently this week, Tony Evans, Rabbi Zacchaeus, etc. I want to make this very clear. This is not a video to expose anybody. David of old said when Saul fell from grace, he said, don't shout it from the rooftops. And even David, when he went to bring a charge against Saul, the Lord smote his heart because he touched the anointing. Now, I want to make this very clear because I've been in ministry for a while. When you see this happen and there are, is a victim or victims our heart should never be for the man of God first in a sense. Oh, we he's so anointed, he fell. Yeah. What about the victims that were taken advantage of, perpetrated? Why isn't our heart for them to see them restored first and foremost? Second, when you see a great leader fall, could be their wife, children, grandchildren, church is in great, great, great Pain. Our heart should be for them also, even before the person that did this stuff. Because let's face it, we wouldn't be here if some of these men didn't do this. Now our heart's posture should always be this. Don't scroll. This will help you. You should do a self-examination and not say be so self-righteous and start to say inwardly, I'm not doing this. I haven't done this. I'll never do this. Hey, be careful. Be careful, it's by the grace of God we stand, we live, and it's all because of Jesus that's holding us. But bad decisions can reap repercussions. Now, sin is sin, but stealing a pack of gum is not going to have the same repercussions as some dude that dresses up in black tights and starts robbing banks. Even Christians still have a free will. This is why I don't really preach once saved, always saved. You can't lose your salvation. You are sealed with a promise, but you can relinquish it and walk away. What do you think the apostasy is? The falling away from the faith, but that's a whole other message. Now, Galatians tells us if any man is caught in a trespass, I think it's Galatians 6 1, forgive me if I'm wrong. You who are spiritual, restore such a one. That word restore means like someone breaks an arm or a leg and it's in a cast or a sling. So they can get healed and get better. And uh, that person's heart should never be, I'm going to get better so I can go back into ministry and yada yada. No, no, no. We had a great leader here in New York who built a big church, big church in several years. We've seen a move of God. The leader fell from grace to three G's. Girls, gold, and glory. He took a good five to seven year sabbatical. The posture of this man's heart was never to go back into ministry. Now, the Lord has restored him back into ministry. And he's doing wonderful. But he went into a sabbatical to get healed, delivered, and set free. Some of these leaders are not delivered. They're not free. They don't believe in deliverance. They don't need Christians can still need deliverance and inner healing from soul ties, curses. That's a whole other message. Now, Galatians ends with this. You who are spiritual, be careful you don't get caught in the same device or snare or trap or weapon. Because the devil's slick. This is no joke, guys. Serving God, serving Jesus. Being in the ministry, now all Christians and ministers, I'm talking about for those that are on the front lines. You have a target on your back. That's why the Bible says be alert. In the case with this man, Robert Morris, this was 35 years ago. My guess is he absolutely repented. Now, he did say he was involved with a young lady. It was never someone with the age. I don't want to say this, but it's so bad. It's so sad. I don't read about this stuff too much. Because it starts to mess with your head. In fact, one a couple of nights ago, I couldn't sleep when I heard about this. To a degree. I'm not saying I was up the whole night. It was just plaguing me. It was terrible. I don't even have TV in the house because I don't need the devil vision. But the point I'm trying to make is 
Jesus help us. My heart breaks. My heart just breaks. You know, I, I, I my heart was so wrecked like 30, 30 years ago in this church. I'll be very candid and transparent when this leader felt that they never really saw for the people to get healed, the people, the sheep. You know, it was all about the pastor, the man of God. And I'm not being rude or crude or obnoxious and exposing. I'm telling you, the church needs to do better as far as seeing restoration for all, not just the leader or the leader. You know, it's not so we can continue, so we can have a big church, money can continue to flow. No, no, no. People's hearts are at stake. People get hurt and wounded when leaders fall. And the devil, he goes after leaders. So cover your leaders, cover your pastors, cover those that have are in high positions. I love you. I'll continue to do some of this stuff. You know, I've been on YouTube too much. If this was helpful, like, comment, share it. Subscribe to the channel if you never have. I may start going back on YouTube teaching. I've been doing a lot of other endeavors and ministry platforms. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Amen.